this is the state of my home with all the Christmas stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, remove anything Christmas. And guys, I had a huge issue. My um, fireplace, Mommy. when I placed this thing down, Mommy. like this, Mama. the heat raised and burned my stacking on the side. And it also left Mama. this uh, stain right there. So I have to paint that. Um, so I do have extra paints that I can just go ahead and wing it there. But I'm just like so disappointed that ha that happened. But I'm going to go ahead and remove it and all the way to the entryway over here. We also got Christmas decor. It's not a lot. You guys know I'm a minimalist. So <laughs> my Christmas decoration is literally two or three things. But yeah, and uh, over here as well. So let's get cleaning, guys. Hope you get motivated today. Let's go. Okay guys, so I have this one bucket which I fit all my Christmas decorations inside and I also have this which I put my ornaments in there which I decluttered this year and got rid of the ornaments I don't love and kept the ones I do love. I wanted to show you guys a little tips on the Christmas packing. So just get yourself those Ziploc bags and be able to sort your different ornaments, the pigs and everything in here. So. This is the tree over there. Let's get taken care of that. So I'm going to start off by um, removing light colors and light materials into one zip like bag so that when I come back next year to redecorate, I already have everything all sorted out without stressing. So guys stay tuned all the way to the end of this video i filled it with lots of motivation because i know that's what you guys want to see especially removing christmas decor is very stressful and messy so i want to show you guys how you can do it without having the mess so everything goes into the ziplock bag and then you remove the christmas tree all individually so i'm sorting uh that um what is it called bin right there so i can go ahead and add back all the christmas ornaments inside here for you guys do you keep your Christmas tree box do you get rid of it do you put your Christmas tree in a bag I'm not sure what people really do but I usually keep my Christmas tree so I can uh, Christmas tree box sorry so I can go ahead and put everything back in there but I was having a little issue with the leg I didn't know that I had to remove the screw in order to be able to fold it listen it was so silly but I figured I figure it out <laughs> So now we're going to move on to my mental area by the TV section and remove everything and put them back straight in the same bin which I showed you guys earlier so that we avoid any type of mess. Do you see the trend? You see how easy it's getting um, to remove all the Christmas decoration. Don't do everything all at once and dump it on the ground guys. Take each section little by little and trust me it's easy and mess free at least when I do it so I thought I'll share that tip with you guys It's not who you might think it is. 
So I'm gonna go to the entryway and grab this Christmas tree and this bottle brush tree and this one as well. But I was debating do I need to grab them because they look like wintery? I could use it for my winter video instead of you know grabbing it, but I changed my mind. I took the glittery one. But you will see on my new video that's coming up for my house tour, I actually put that back because I actually really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and place everything back. As I told you, it's neat, it's clean, it's easy to do because I don't have lots of clutter and lots of decoration there. That's the, you know, boost about being a minimalist. So it's very easy to put things back and get rid of things because you don't have a lot of things sitting there. So this is my favorite part now. It's time to clean, declutter, and remove everything. It's what I really love to do, is to reorganize and declutter. I'm gonna go ahead and move some of the decorations around, clean the furniture, um, you know, rem uh, sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and turn some of the uh, furniture around and basically clean, you know, everywhere they're rearranging. That's what I mean. <laughs> and I really love to rearrange furniture is one of my like big passion do you guys see how disgusting this is look at it so my daughter came to help me <laughs> Wait, some of the glass cleaner, but she brought the wrong one. So I told her to go back and bring me the correct one. She's so sweet. But yeah, it's very disgusting. All the flux from the Christmas, um, you know, decoration. It's just so nasty on that TV stand. But I was able to go ahead and get that taken care of, which I love. Okay, so let's continue guys. I hope you're still with me. I hope you grabbed your tea, your coffee, your hot chocolate, whatever you want to drink for the winter as this is a remove your my, my Christmas decoration and clean with me for the winter. So I hope you're still here and join. I love to vacuum the floor. It gives me fresh clean feel under my feet which vacuum lines are it for me guys. So I got done vacuuming. I'm going to go ahead and search my furnitures around. You may ask Gladys, why do you always switch your furniture around? I do because that's what I love. Even when I lived in an apartment, I always switch my furniture around so that I'm not confined to one thing. I get very bored with the same type of furniture there. And since I'm not going to go around purchasing brand new couch and chairs, I'm just going to switch them around. And I love switching them around because it gives a new perspective. It feels like everything is clean. It feels like the house is like brand new. And I love that, so let's get that done. This video is motivating you let's continue guys this year which I mean by 2021 you're going to receive lots of great content from me so definitely subscribe if you're not if you're new to my channel do subscribe I truly appreciate it if you've been subscribed I thank you so much for being here just make sure your notification bell is on so that you don't miss any videos so let's continue and we're just gonna go ahead and decorate now which is one of my favorite part as well so 
so you're going to see my kids jumping around like grasshoppers or squirrels in the back there i apologize they're just playing and one of them took his shirt off like seriously <laughs> i love these people they're just so silly but i'm gonna go ahead and just decorate this section guys So I love the way this turbo turned out. It's very winter wonderland and I love that guys. It's simple yet it just brings such a statement there. And I was just going around and rearranging some of the candles, just making sure it makes sense to me before I, you know, say okay to it. <laughs> you guys already removed your christmas tree if not leave it in the comment below and also if you did also leave in a comment below do you wait until january or do you remove your christmas tree right after christmas let me know it's so odd it takes forever to clean a house and it takes just few seconds to mess it up like i just don't get that concept it takes lots of work for you to clean a whole house and it will take you just 30 minutes to mess it all up <laughs> even though it took me forever to finish cleaning this house i love the way it turned out it just gives me so much peace of joy knowing i have a clean home to wake up to the next day so all the christmas decoration all the flock tree all the ornaments everything has been put away and this house feels so cozy thank you so much for watching god bless you all share this video with your friends and family 2021 you're going to get great content and i can't wait for you guys to see more videos coming from me bye guys